We're going to show you how we go about clear coating a front door. We've got a wood front door right here and it's been stained and clear coated and these doors need to be maintained properly to be protected from the UV rays and sunlight rays. This door gets hit by a little bit of sunlight during the day and that sunlight will actually fade the door and weather the door. So we're going to show you the simple process of removing this door and clear coating it with a water-based clear coating that will last you about two to three years. So now stay tuned because I'm going to remove this door and here we go. So to start, start this process, I got a simple tool, a hinge pin removal tool right here, and this removes the hinge pins from the door. That way we can take the door off. We're not going to be unscrewing the hinges. We're just going to be taking out the three hinge pins, taking it out, setting it on some buckets, and working on it out in the clear opening where we can sand, lightly sand it and then clear coat it. So got my hinge pin removal tool, and we're going to start removing this door. Okay, now I removed that the door. I'm gonna set it up out here in the grass on two five gallon buckets. I put some plastic plastic up over the door so no bugs or dust will go flying in the house and it's just good customer service to cover up that opening for the customer so they don't lose a lot of their heating or cooling either. So we're gonna set this door on here. I'm gonna put some cardboard shields on the buckets to actually protect the opposite side of the door. You want to use some type of protection because the buckets or whatever you set it on could actually scratch that door. Now I'm going to begin this process of getting this door ready. I'm just going to be using a square sanding sponge, a fine sanding sponge because this door is in pretty good shape. I don't want to sand into the clear coat or actually into the stain where I'd have to restain it. I'm just going to lightly sand the clear coat and then we're going to be re clear coating it. You want to rub your hands over it just to make sure it's all smooth. You don't have any rough spots on this thing at all. Now you want to make sure you dust it off. I got myself a duster brush. I'm going to dust it off and blow it off with a blower to make sure it's all nice and clean. Now it's a little warm out here in the direct sunlight, so I'm gonna move it into the garage where it's actually shady because I don't wanna spray the clear coat in the direct sunlight. I was gonna spray it out here where it's a little bit overcast, but now the sun's shining right on the door. It's getting a little too hot, so I'm gonna move it into the garage. The garage now, I'm gonna mask it off, put some drop cloths down underneath it. Uh, I'm gonna wrap masking around the side so I don't get any overspray on the opposite side. I'm gonna leave the hardware on because all we're actually doing is clear coating this door. If we were staining it, we would have restain it and we'd actually remove the hardware. But we don't like to remove the hardware because if it's old hardware and it has a problem going back together or you could scratch the door, there's a lot of things that actually can go wrong with removing the hardware and trying to reinstall it with some complicated hardware like this hardware like this so we're just going to mask off the hardware which is really simple with frog tape and nine inch paper and then clear coat it
Okay, I'm getting my Titan 440 impact set up right here to spray this door. It's an airless sprayer. Got my water-based clear coat sitting inside this five gallon bucket so it doesn't tip over. And I'm gonna set my airless sprayer pressure at a, at a fairly low pressure. I don't want it up super high because this is a really thin clear coat. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. I'm gonna set my pressure on this Titan 440. I've got it set about 12 o'clock and we're gonna see how that functions for me on my first coat. And I'm gonna be using a Graco uh, Rack X fine finish tip, a 310 tip. So here we go. Okay, I got some drop cloths on my floor to protect my floor so I don't get any overspray on the floor. And it's just a clear coat, but it'll make the floor shiny. So um, I'm using a satin water-based urethane clear coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my first coat. Now I'm gonna let that dry, come back and put on another coat. Now my final, or my first coat is all dry. I'm gonna check it for any rough spots. If there's anything rough, you're just gonna sand it out with a really fine sanding sponge. Okay, my first coat looked Pretty good, now I'm gonna spray my second and final coat. There we go. It looks pretty good. We're gonna let this dry, pull off the masking, and rehang it up. There you have it. It's all rehung and clear coated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you have it, those doors all clear coated and re 